back to the channel. I'm so glad you can join me again today. Today we've got another real exciting one. I'm doing another 4K and we just did a 4K here recently, but I'm trying to get some more of these out to you more often because there's so many great things that I'm finding out about. So I'm trying to get you these out a little bit more often and a little quicker so that way you can know about a lot of these great releases coming out. So today we're gonna to be diving into Howard's End. And Howard's End on 4K was a real surprise to me. I had never even thought that they'd ever release this on 4K. And I'm sure most of you don't know this is even available on 4K. And this is Howard's End on 4K. And if most of you have ever seen this film, uh, James Ivory directed it and it has Anthony Hopkins in it. It has Vanessa Redgrave. It has Helena Bonham Carter in it. It has Emma Thompson in it and a bunch of other actors, British actors and things like that that are in it. And it's a classic film. And I know a lot of you might be saying, well, I haven't seen that film in like 10, 15 years. The film is kind of one of those British, um, I don't want to say slower pace, but a little bit. You have to set your expectations going into it. And I've seen this film numerous times growing up. And it's one of those films that grows on you over time. It is a classic film. And you have to set your expectations with the idea that it is a British classic film. What that means is the humor in it's different than what maybe you might have in the US. But I love British films. I know that the British love our films and it's back and forth. So I love collecting films in general. And this is one of those films that I really did enjoy. It has so many different things that it gets going in. For example, a lot of the film is told through visual imagery. And what I mean by that is, is there's numerous scenes where they'll kind of skip ahead in time, but show it through the changing of the seasons of the plants. And you have to pay attention to that. And that's where James Ivory was talking about that his whole purpose behind it was to give you an experience of life through numerous images of the scenery. So plants growing, plants dying, raining, snow, but it's, it's done beautifully throughout it. And the film deserved a 4K representation. It's just I never really thought they'd ever release it in 4K. And this is a full 4K with HDR. Now, I will say it does retain a heavy amount of film grain because of when this was filmed. So this was filmed in 1992 and it retains the film grain from them filming it back in 1992. And they did a great job with not using HDR or anything like that to get rid of the film grain. It retains it beautifully, but lets the different colors from the plants and the outside scenery come through with the different shades and the hues because of the HDR and the 4K representation in it. And I really like what they did with this release. And it's in English on the front. Another German release that they really knew that basically anybody that's in an English speaking country is gonna to wanna to import and own this. 4K Ultra HD plus the Blu-ray. It says classic selection in English with all of the actors' names in English, as well as the title in English, talking about the Oscars. Um, I just, I really like the release. And so the film itself I recommend, but you need to go into it if you haven't seen this film with the understanding it's based on a 1910 book. So the book was released back in 1910. This film was filmed in 1992. So it's a different era of not only filming, but it's based on a book from 1910. So it is a classic novel, a classic film, slower paced, go into it with that understanding, but it is a well worth your time movie. It has so many different characters that over time change and evolve and things would happen. And to be honest with you, the last like probably 15 to 20 minutes of the film really surprises you because a lot happens at the end that's kind of like, wow, how it all just kind of fit into place with what the beginning of the film was. So it's one of those films as you're watching probably the first half an hour, it very heavily ties to the last 20 minutes of the film, how it all kind of falls into place. And it's kind of one of those things you're like, wow, how, how life kind of changes to where you plan something and it, it ends up differently. So I really enjoyed that for the film without giving away the story. I loved how the film evolves over time to where basically the lady who Vanessa Redgrave is playing in the beginning of the film plans something and does something that she basically wants to give Howard's end to the character that Emma Thompson is playing. But Emma Thompson doesn't know it. And to be honest with you, she never knows it throughout the film. Even at the end, when she thinks she finds out about it, she doesn't really know. And there's so many other things that happen throughout it, but that just kind of gives you a little bit of an idea of 
basically kind of the story that goes into it. But to get into this, because that's what you're all here is for the 4K representation and what that makes this 4K release so special. Now, before we dive into this, I do have something I wanna cover real quick with you. So make sure you stick with me here. I'm gonna cover this real quick. As always, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. That helps out huge. It lets others know that you really enjoyed me letting you know about this hidden 4K release. So make sure to click the thumbs up notification that you liked this video. And then also make sure you click the subscribe button right next to it. That way you don't miss out on finding out about any of these great releases I'm coming out with because there are so many. Just like this week, I released two of these hidden 4K releases and I constantly have new stuff coming out. So make sure you punch that and hit that subscribe button and then also the bell notification right next to it. Don't forget to hit the bell notification. That way as I release these, you get notified that I'm releasing these coming out right away so you can watch and find out about these hidden releases. And as always, I will have these listed down in the description section below. So if you wanna pick up any of these 4Ks, Blu-rays that I'm talking about, I will list them down in the description section below this video. That way you don't have to take your time to try to search and find out where to buy this from. I will have the Amazon link listed in the description section right below this video. So it makes it nice and easy for you to just go down there, click it, and if you wanna buy it, you can. So as always, those will be listed down there. And if you wanna follow me on my Instagram, or my Facebook, it's In Search of Physical Media, and that is the name of the channel, and those are both on Instagram and on Facebook, and I put out new stuff that I find out, and little hidden things on there all the time. So if you wanna follow me on there, make sure to go on there and follow me on those as well. All right, let's dive right back into this review here. We got a lot of exciting stuff to cover here. So on this 4K release now, it does have HDR, but it's just HDR. It's not HDR 10, and it's not Dolby Vision. As I've talked about in some previous 4K releases that have come out, um, HDR is a great representation on 4K, but in my opinion, it's not the highest form of HDR that you can use. I personally think Dolby Vision is the best of them, and then HDR 10, and then obviously this comes in at the basic, basically entry level, in my opinion, of HDR representations. It looks beautiful on the film, it looks beautiful in 4K, but over the Blu-ray presentations that have been released over the years, the Blu-rays even that were available, there was a recent one done by a smaller company. They did a 4K restoration. This blows that out of the water is my understanding from everybody I've talked to that owned that limited release. There was like 1,500 copies or 3,000 copies made of that one. This one is not a limited release. They did a full 4K remaster and restoration for this classic collection that's been released. So this is the best Howard's End has ever and my understanding most likely ever will look and this is not available on streaming services the only way to watch this in full 4k with hdr is by owning this 4k release so let's get into this a little bit more here on the side here it does have it in english howard's end and then the german words ultra hd blu-ray and then it does have concord the company that released this on the back here it goes through their classic collections talking about this is james ivory's oscar winning uh, movie, it talks about Howard's End, it does have a bunch of it in English, it talks about the actors and actresses that are in it. it, talks about it being on 4K, and then some little things I'm gonna touch on here. The film is presented in 16 by nine, the original presentation. It has not been cut down on some of the Blu-ray releases, like the one that was released in America, um, and uh, there was one released in the UK as well. They did cut sides of the film awkwardly that they cut out parts of the 16 by nine. I don't know why, but there was reported they cut off about an inch off of each side of the screen. It has been completely restored and remastered off the original elements, not the cut elements that existed on the other Blu-ray. So if you're looking for the ultimate presentation of this film on 4K or Blu-ray, this is the best one to get. And it's because this is the only one, my understanding other than that limited 4K, which was not a 4K release, it was just a 4K remaster on Blu-ray that had 3,000 copies, which is no longer available, it's sold out. This one is the full 4K, not on Blu-ray, this is the full 4K that's on a 4K, which is a Blu-ray, not to make things confusing, but those of you that can follow me here. Um, this is the full presentation uncut, which means they did not cut that inch off of each side of the screen in the 16 by nine presentation which I really appreciate because I don't like when they go in and they cut the screens or they edit things down. This is the original uncut, so you don't have to mess with those ugly Blu-rays that existed at least in the US and in the UK before. So, 16 by nine on this. 
Then it goes into audio options here. Now, on this release, you are going to get English DTS HD Master Audio 5.1, which sounded great. It was clear, it was crisp, it sounded beautiful. You also get the English audio commentary from the director and writer on this as well, that you can play through it as well on the 4K if you do want the audio commentary in English. Then you have German DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 as well. So those are your audio options you're gonna get in this. Is gonna be the DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 for English, and then obviously the German, and then the audio commentary in German and English as well. And that runs through the film on 4K. Now, as far as special features go on this, it does have all the special features contained on the 4K disc, which is very unique, as well as the Blu-ray disc. So you don't have to switch out your 4K disc for the Blu-ray to watch the special features. They're all contained on the 4K disc in this as well, which I really did like that because a lot of 4K releases that have come out across the entire world, they're usually putting just the movie and maybe an audio commentary on the 4K, and then any of the special features you have to pop the Blu-ray in, that is not the case on this release. They are all on the 4K as well as the Blu-ray. And I got some exciting news for all of you all over the world. This release, both discs are region free. So that means you buy this Howard's End in 4K, both discs, the Blu-ray and the 4K are 100% region free. I tested them on all five of my Blu-ray players. So I tested them in my region A's. I tested them in my region B's, which I have two region B's. I tested them in my region C Blu-ray player. It played flawlessly both discs, the Blu-ray and the 4K flawlessly. And the 4K remaster and restoration is present on the Blu-ray disc in this set as well. So if you want to future-proof yourself and you don't have a 4K player yet, buy this set. You can watch the Blu-ray. Now, obviously, you won't get the HDR, or the upgrades of having it on a 4K, full 4K Blu-ray disc, but you will get the remaster and the 4K upgrade with the original frame not cut down on the Blu-ray disc as well. So that's a huge selling point on this because this is the only way to get this movie on Blu-ray in the original uncut version because the only other one that was available for a limited printing is sold out. So this comes with both. So if you wanna future-proof yourself and you want the best quality of this movie, you're gonna to wanna to get this because it has the Blu-ray and the 4K on it. And it's got all your English audio, your German audio, choose what you want on that, you're good to go and the special features are contained on both discs. Now, going into the box set here, I showed you the back here already. We're gonna go into the inside here. When you open it up here, you're gonna get your 4K disc on this side. It says Classic Collection in English with the German words small above it. it. Does say Ultra HD 4K with the DTS HD Master Audio. And then it does have the option for the Dolby Digital 2.0 on it. And I did mention that a little bit earlier, but I'll mention it again. There is an option if you want to play it in Dolby Digital 2.0 stereo. And that is available both in English and German as well. It does have a little booklet here just kind of explaining uh, some other releases they have. And then on this side, you're obviously going to have your uh, Blu-ray disc, which has your Dolby Digital and your DTS HD on it as well. Same thing, same cover art on both. So that's what comes inside your disc. Um, as far as the other releases that Concord has, this is the only classic collection they've released in 4K so far. And if they release more of these, I will definitely get them and let you know. I've been on a tear lately buying things from other countries. And let me tell you, just in the last two months, I probably spent close to $3,000 on 4Ks and Blu-rays and sets from all over the world that are being shipped to me from everywhere. So, and this is a part of a shipment I've gotten, which was a pretty expensive shipment. So there's tons of things coming out. I got this along the same time that I ordered uh, No Way Out, Only the Brave, which I just recently did. If you haven't checked that 4K release out, make sure to check that one out. Um, this one price-wise was a little bit less expensive than Only the Brave, No Way Out was. I think this one cost me right around $35, $36, and then you had some shipping on that. So the price of it before shipping was a little bit less than the Only the Brave, but I highly recommend the Only the Brave release as well if you have not checked that one out. Make sure to check that one out on my channel. But this release I did really enjoy, but go into it with the expectation. It's not a fast moving, there is comedy in it, but it's British comedy, which I do like and my wife likes. We watched the movie. It kind of reminds me a lot of kind of where Downton Abbey, which is a more modern British show, 
Downton Abbey, I feel like, took a lot of its ideas from Howard's End in the sense of the family drama and the different um, romances going on and the different, well, you know, this is happening and they're hiding this secret and this happens and the... So it's, it's very much reminds me of that basically Downton Abbey took some of its maybe ideas and writing from Howard's End, the film. And I really do enjoy this film. I'm glad to have it in my collection and I think the 4K representation on it is great. The audio option was great. It was crisp and clean sound. Now, as far as the disc go, I had no problems playing this in any of my 4K players. So I've talked about this before, about that sometimes with Dolby Vision, you have to have a player that will play the Dolby Vision or you will have issues with the disc. I had no problems whatsoever playing Howard's End in any of my players. And there was no issues with the audio options. There was no issues with any artifacting or Dolby Vision issues. Because there's no Dolby Vision on this, it's just HDR. It played beautifully in all my 4K players. So there's no issues there whatsoever. So if you have any type of 4K player, because the discs in this are region free, you can play it in any of them with no issues whatsoever. You don't have to check to make sure you have Dolby Vision or any special software in your player. This one will play in any of them perfectly with no issues whatsoever. So for that one, that is a nice bonus in the set. And I do enjoy the film itself too. So my review score for this set and this release specifically, this one's going to get a 9.2. And the reason this gets a little bit higher of a score than some of the other 4K releases, and remember when I'm scoring 4K releases, they are only scored against themselves. So I don't score these against Blu-rays because that's not fair. A 4K release itself, I can't compare it to a Blu-ray release and score it against a Blu-ray because they're a different category in my opinion. So when I'm giving a score and a review score on a 4K release like Howard's End, I'm scoring this against other 4Ks. That's where the score for this comes from is compared to the other 4K releases that have come out, I think this one holds up very well. The case was great. The presentation was great. I could play it in any of my 4K players, no problem. Um, and it did look and sound the best it's ever been because it's uncut. And this is the only way to own, own it uncut. That is where I really enjoyed this release because of those things. So if you've seen this film, you're gonna wanna own this in this 4K release. And I will put those down in the description section below this video, the link for this, so that way you don't have to take your time to try to research to find where to get this from. I will have the Amazon link right below in the description section below this video for you to make it nice and easy for you. I highly recommend the release, and I do think it's worth picking up and adding to your collection. It is another one that I'm very happy to have in my 4K collection and my Blu-ray collection, because like I talked about, even if you don't own a 4K player, you need to pick this up because the Blu-ray is the 4K restoration and remaster, but on the Blu-ray version of this disc. So this is the only way to own this in the highest quality, even for the Blu-ray release. So because of that, that's why this got such a high score on this remaster and this restoration, because it looks amazing. And I really hope that Concord does some more classic collection releases, because I think they're onto something really great here. A lot of these classic movies that a lot of people just probably didn't remember or maybe you owned it on VHS or DVD, they really deserve to be restored and basically preserved. And that's where I feel like this classic collection is something unique. And you know, I've done The Princess Bride on the channel before and that's another one that I'm really glad they did a full 4K restoration remaster on that, that I can own that on 4K because it's just like this one. Having it in the highest quality and knowing that as time goes on, I can watch this, my kids can watch it, my family can watch it, and I've got something that's a unique collector's item. And if you have anybody over to your home, this is kind of one of those things that if you have any other collectors you know, people that collect 4Ks and Blu-rays, I like to pull out things like this. And this is where as a collector, I get really, really excited. And that's the whole purpose of In Search of Physical Media is all these hidden releases that probably most of you would never find out about or know about if it wasn't for me researching and finding these out to tell you about these releases is so you can collect these. And somebody comes over to your house, you can say, look at this. This is a 4K restoration and remaster of Howard's End. And they'd be like, wow, I, I never thought I'd see that in 4K. Or, you know, I did um, Rollerball recently that you need to check that one out. That Rollerball by Norman Jewison, that's a great restoration and remaster on 4K. And there's a lot of people that have talked about that recently. There's a small company I heard about, Scorpion, that's releasing that one in basically a 4K remaster but only on blu-ray it's not a 4k release and i've seen a lot of people in the forums really just not understanding what that is so the full 4k restoration and remaster that was released that i did a review on 
that's the only actual 4K release. The one that they're coming out with, which is going to basically be a dumbed down version of the full 4K. If you watch the special features on that release that I did for that actual rollerball review, um, there's a great special feature and they're talking about the restoration and remaster they did on the amount of extensive work they did with the color grading and restoring the colors that it should have been. The amount that they went into that, that's the release I would get. The Scorpion one is not going to compare because it's not even being released on 4K. It's going to be a Blu-ray. The amount of restoration and remaster they did on that rollerball release on 4K is absolutely great. And the special feature on that, I highly recommend what they go into and what they did on that is absolutely amazing. So as far as my opinion of what 4K remaster you should get a rollerball, that's the one you should get. I did the review on my channel. Uh, make sure you check that one out as well. There's a lot of 4K releases I've done on this channel now of hidden things that if you're interested in 4Ks, you need to check out some of those videos because they are doing some amazing classic films restored on 4K and they're basically restoring and remastering them and that's what they did with the Howard Zen. Highly recommend the film, picking it up. Let me know if you've seen this. Down in the comments below, please let me know if you've watched this, if you've seen the movie, if you knew or were excited about now that you know this is on 4K and if you're going to pick it up. Let me know if this is one you're going to add to your collection. Let me know if there's some other 4K releases that you like to show off as kind of your, hey, this is something you didn't know about to other collectors because I really like having things like this. That's kind of how I look at the channel is sharing this with all of you. What exciting things I find that I add to my collection and what are you excited that you're adding to your collection? So make sure to share with me and let me know. And if you're excited about all of these new and hidden releases I'm finding, because man, I found so many recently and I am so excited about these. I wanted to get this one out as soon as possible, all of you. As always, I've had a great time doing this today. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. That helps out huge. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and click that subscribe button. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, make sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on finding out about any of these exciting hidden releases. I've got so many more coming out and you're not gonna wanna miss out on any of these. So make sure you click that subscribe button and the bell notification right next to it. And as always, I will have all the links in the description section below this video. You click that arrow down, I'll put them all down there so it makes it nice and easy. So you don't have to go searching by the German words to find these. You click down there, it'll have the Amazon links. So you can go out and purchase yours to add to your collection. Because I can tell you this much, I have had so much fun. I've actually spent more time since I started this channel years ago, going out, finding more and more of these hidden releases. So that way I can share them with all of you on the channel. And in case all of you haven't noticed, I get more and more excited when I find more and more of these releases that are just unknown. And, and I'm really excited to share them with all of you, my subscribers and viewers. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. And then follow me on my Instagram, and on my Facebook. It's in search of physical media, both on Facebook and on Instagram, because I always have some content on there that I don't get to do on the channel here. So I might get some little hidden releases that I post on there and talk about things I like about those. So if you want to know about some extra things, make sure to follow me on my Instagram or my Facebook as well, so you get all that content as well. And as always, I've had a great time today. Make sure to comment below and like this video. And I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope all of you have a blessed day and I look forward to the next time we get to spend together real soon.